Hello everybody. I'm back again. I'm trying to get my phone here to record. Don't mind the mess over here. It's all my crap stuff, you know, just it's my leg right here. <laughs> I'm just trying to see what what am I filming guys? Well I'm gonna try not to move so I don't move the camera. But anyways, I just wanted to jump up real quick and share this uh little patty uh, journal that I made out of uh, toilies <laughs> and a quilt as you can see so I added two sorry guys I added two buttons I just found these in my stash and I thought ah let's pop them in there but anyways I hope everybody's doing fine and let's get started so I used some of this fabric uh, what kind of fabric exactly it is, I don't know, guys. But it's not connected. Wipe that down. But this is it, guys. I love the way it turns out. Turns out. Turned out. I hope you guys like it, too. Um, and, um, yeah, well, let, let's get started. So this is the, the cover. And as you can see, I kind of went a little bit too fat. This was supposed to be more that way, but you know, it's kind of like that. But let's get started. So here, what I did is, I wrapped the doily around, but I didn't want to cover the quilt. So as you could see, I left it open. Oh, this uh, doily, it's like an old doily that I got at a vintage shop. So it has some stains there. So does the, a little bit on the quilt, sorry guys. But I love the way it looks, so I didn't want to cover it, but I ended up covering it. So what I did is I, again, put a button there, stitched it so that it could turn into a little pocket. But I just, like I said, this was not supposed to be that fat, and it did. I had a little thing in there. Well, it didn't look good, so I ended up popping this little one. I think I've shared this with you guys. But it's just a little, you know, uh, a little tag insert that I did. So that just goes in there, and then you have a little tag on the inside, and you can journal on the back. This was supposed to be a paper clip thingy. And then just another little ticket there. So I just popped that here because it's not that bulky, and you know, it. I had to move things around. So I just go ahead and pop it in one of these holes from the doily, but I love that. You got that little pocket there, so then this falls back. And we got another little pocket in there. As you could see, I went sewing crazy, you know, because that's me. <laughs> but I love it. I love it, guys. Like, I really love this journal. Um, so, okay. So, we're going to open it. And it's like a little tripod. But like I said, I was not going to. It was originally supposed to be just like a journal. To journal in. And, you know, little pockets here and there. And you know that didn't go too well you know so but let's start on this side before we jump into the journal so this I just have this is a, a cute little envelope I just paper clipped it there as you can see I don't want to take it off but isn't he cute little boy so yeah it's a little envelope that just uh, tucks there and then I went ahead and added um, one of these little I guess trifold I want to say and it just opens you got a cute little tag there and then uh, image of a lady with her child and you got a, a little girl there and then on this side you got some more little bits and pieces of ephemera a little uh, bingo card uh, another piece of ephemera and just did a little bit of collaging throughout so I really like this I need to make more so that just tucks in there, you know, because we don't like empty pockets, so. And then this one is just a little corner tuck. And I just went ahead and added uh, some of these, uh, well, a postcard. And I think that's from Tsunami Rose. The invoices, I don't remember because I know I have various, uh, from various people. So it's either the old design shop, tailor-made journals, and I can't remember the other one. Anyways, 
So let's not focus on who they're from. But if you really need to know, let me know and I'll search through my my kits. But here we got a little cutout, a little label there, and just a little bit of a different pieces of a of a lace and trim that I have left over. So you know, you don't want to throw anything away. So there you go. And I used uh, one of these, uh, I guess, piano pages. I found a, a uh, book with them, uh, never been used, so I thought they'd be cool to add to uh, journals. And then here's the other side. This is actually um, like a flashcard. I just folded it in half and collaged on it. A little bit of fibers on this one. Again, another postcard from Tsunami Rose. And another piece of ephemera. Now, if you guys know who they're from, let me know. But I don't think this one's from Artie May. I mean, Artie Mays. I don't think this one's from uh, Taylor Made or the old design shop. I think it's from that person. I can't remember. Ay, ay, ay. So, Ruby and Pearl? I don't know. Just, I'm a mess. And most of the pages are just uh, printouts of invoices because. I just wanted to use invoices. So here's our first little pocket that we have. Um, again, went ahead and collaged, added some fabric there, little labels, little images there. And then I made this little tag. And I wanted to put a lot of hanging things there, but I was trying to keep it skinny since I kind of went over board on the pocket. So. But some of the ephemera and stuff can be pulled out and it won't be too bad. <laughs> and here again is another awesome piece of ephemera. So yeah, some of this, uh, do I have any floating pockets? This one was tore, I left it as is. Look at that, I'm gonna turn it around but it's big. Look at how pretty, oh, yeah, I just can't remember who they're from. But I love these ledger papers. Look at that. And then I added some of this. Um, it's not vellum. It's like like wax paper. <laughs> or you guys know. I don't even need to tell you guys. You guys know. And you're probably yelling it out on me right now. And yeah, I just can't hear. <laughs> Another page here. And then here I just did a little uh, ephemera. Ephemera. Just a little uh, collage to use as a tuck, and that pops in there, which I did two more, and I didn't pop them in there because I was trying to not keep it too fat. So I don't know if I should put them in there, or maybe I should just pop them in the pocket to go with the, the new owner. Here is another little pocket, and it's just a cute little tag and a postcard from uh, Tsunami Rose. That's like the only one I know. <laughs> and then this one has a, it's a pocket, so you got a, t a, tuck, uh, a tuck in there for a tag. So I added that image. I thought they'd look cute and happy. And then you can journal on the back. And so that just pops in here if I can do it. Yes, I can. And then on the very back, we got this large tag. And that just pops right there. And just a little bit of collaging there. Little pieces of uh, bits and pieces that I have. These are from the old design shop. I do know that for a fact. Um, I just can't remember the name of what they're called. But it's a little bit of mixture of, of all the, the paper kits that I have. And then here, okay, so this pocket was made using uh, Rachel's uh, Roxy Creations video. She did my wallet, but she did it with her twist. Instead of it closing this way, she opened it where the pockets on this side, and then she put it over a page. So as I was watching the video, I made one real quick, and there it is. And here I just have this large little tag. These are from um, Tracy Fox, and. I left that alone because it's from an old uh, album and I left it alone. I figured those lines could be used for journaling. So yeah. And then here's just a uh, little pieces of uh, ephemera. 
Yeah, no, I don't. So just pop those there. And then on this pocket, I just have this cute little journaling card and just a plain little tag. It's mainly for the color, you know, to balance everything. Here, I just added a piece of, uh, I want to say fabric. I don't know, this is not lace, but I added a little, little itty bitty piece of uh, lace on top, a little button, and just, you know, collaged, and I love that. I think it came out really cute. On this side, I did the same thing. Here in the back, you have a postcard and a journaling card. And those just chuck like this. And they kind of look cute. And then on here, again, another cute little plain, plain uh, tag that I popped there. And then just some little bits and pieces to finish it off. Love that. I did a lot of fussy cutting for this journal. So yeah. And then again, look at those beautiful pages. I just love them. And I did print other digi kits on the back so it would be plain white on the back on the on the back. Here is another little corner tuck. Again, I have another another letter. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is one of the, because I know that I have some that are French, I don't know. <laughs> but I love them and I popped them in there. So that goes back there and then in here you just have a little cute little tag made out of a book page and it just hides in here. Here you just have a little collaging going on. Here uh, just a page, I figured you can, um, you know glue your images there or journal there I love this really cute on this side you have a pocket just a little bit of uh, decorating there and then you have a piece of ephemera another little postcard from Tsunami Rose and then this large tag so that just tucks in there another beautiful invoice ah I wanted to punch those holes oh well too late here another one of these from um tracy fox and then another little little journaling card there and this one is another wrap around i don't think i've ever done a video on that but it's just a a, a wrap around for tucking pictures or tucking your images a little pocket there cute little girl there and the same things on this side. So you have another large invoice here, as you could see. And then I added this piece of ephemera that I had laying around there. And you got these cute little kids there. Aren't they cute? Look at that. <laughs> and then in here, I just have these pieces of ephemera. So those go in there. Here I have a lady holding a cat. I thought that was cute. And this is the center of the journal. And I just have these pieces of I just bought this kit and I can't think of who it who um who's it from. Another um postcard and these cute library cards. I can't remember where I got the I'm such a mess. I'm such a mess. You know, you get them, what you should do is write it down, especially if you're going to use it. But, you know, I print and I play and, yeah, don't do that. Here, another little pocket. Now, here behind the image, you have a couple of pieces uh, in there. You have a cute little card. This is a door. Uh, another little piece of ephemera. I think this is from Shabby Dabby Doodah, if I'm not mistaken. And another little clear um, plain tag. And they just pop in there and then on on the back here I have another journaling card and then this piece of uh, this is like a little invoice I think so so those just pop back there and what is that I don't know okay I don't know not coming up pop those there here again I used a flash card to do that pocket cute little tag with that little girl so cute 
And she's got her little doll. So she goes there. And then again, another one of these awesome... I didn't print anything on the back of this one. But another letter. That says something. <laughs> I think this is one of the French ones, if I'm not mistaken. Is this in the front or in the back? Oh, well. There we go. And then on this side, this is half of an envelope that I used. And I had these little... Uh, two of them to be exact you'll see the other one later uh, but I thought because it's children it would go well so I just stitched it you know on this side so it could be a my little tuck and they won't go anywhere and these cute little envelopes I don't know who they're from I don't think I put anything no I did it but aren't they cute little things like I love little bits and pieces like that little itty bitty things and so this is a flip as you could see so you could add an image or something there and this is a pocket and you have a journaling card there I won't take it out all the way so I don't struggle <laughs> here you have a lot of awesome place for journaling here as well or add some beautiful images here we have another little pocket and it's also out of a book page so you have this large tag and then this little tag and then on this side, we got these two little pieces of ephemera. I just tuck in there with this little girl. And then on this side, we just have a uh, postcard. And that just pops in there. I like those stamps. So yeah, she's, she looks cute right there. And then on this side, and uh, you'll see another page of the those uh, receipts, invoices. I don't know. A lot of space for journaling here. That's another one of the invoices that I used. And then here's another one too, like the wraparound that I said on the other one. Well, this is another one just a little bit different. Instead of it being a full side, this one has a little pocket. And it's just holding this cute little tag that you could journal a lot of cute things about somebody. <laughs> and that just pops in there. And then you got this large tag here. I love that rose. And you can journal on the back and so it's uh glued and glued glued here so that things won't fall down and if you need to add anything tall it'll fit so that's there and like i said this is a fold around so on this one uh, you got another cute little tag and here's a little cute little boy so those just pop in there and then here we have another um, invoice because that's my theme to this uh, journal. I should call it a, a invoice, invoice doily journal <laughs> with little people. <laughs> Here's some space for journaling. Oops. And then here I had this already and I thought it was cute. So I went ahead and added her there. I didn't think it needed anything. And these are some of the papers from uh, um, the old design shop. And so like I said, it's just a cute little tag that I had made and I just thought it went well in here. I popped it there. There's more of that paper. I can't remember, but I love that paper. Invoice, and then you got this. Here's another cute little tag, a tag from book page pocket. Again, it's just some bits and pieces that are in here. Okay, that didn't go there because I wasn't covering everything. Okay, I'm going to put it like that. Another cute little tag and another awesome invoice. And I think these are the French documents. So that just tucks back there. And a little tag there. Lady, isn't that cute? I don't know, I've been having so much fun decorating these uh, pockets with uh, little people. Now I want to make another one, but a smaller one. I really had so much fun. I haven't made one with uh, people, usually now nature. Um, so I really had fun playing with uh, images of uh, people. Oh, there's some little something there. And here again, see this is the other little girl that I was saying. These little pieces are just stitched on them. Stitched it so it won't fall. And another cute little envelope. 
and I don't think, no I didn't, I didn't put anything there so you can put your secret notes. And again it flips out so you could journal there, add some images of somebody or something and then a cute little journaling card there. And that's the back guys. We have another piece of ephemera, uh, another invoice. So these are not only awesome and look cool, but you have all the space to journal. So even though I went a little overboard on the pockets, there's so much uh, places to journal. Okay, am I not doing this right? And so that just tucks there. Now here, I went ahead and, and added this little piece. I glued it down and then added this little flower. So it's glued down. It's not going to go anywhere unless you yank it out. And here I just wanted to do a little notepad. So I went ahead and just collaged. This is a, a, a envelope but the, with the window. And I just kind of sh shortened it a little bit. And it open, well, has a tag in here. If I can get it out. I was going to put a little tabby, but I guess I never did. It's just a little plain tag on the back. And just, you could add a cute image of somebody. And then on the inside, you have a pocket here. And that's the embellishment there. Cute little flower. And you got this cute little, little tag there. This piece of ephemera. I think this one's one of mine. And I'm not even sure if I put I um, mean listed them in the shop but that's one of mine and then uh, I think this is from uh, okay it'll come to me and another tag I think these are from the old design shop I can't think of her name oh I'm blaming it on me because I haven't done videos in a while here I just put random pieces of paper. You could also add pictures here. You can journal. So just random pieces of paper that I had. And then on the back, I made it into a tuck. I just cut that piece off and add that cute little boy. <laughs> and then on the back here, we have this, um, what would this be? Is it a check? No. Some sort of receipt of something. I don't know. But anyways, that goes in there. And then I just thought this would be cool to add also to the... the, the, the this little blippy thingy. <laughs> so yeah, I love the way this came out. I need to make more of these because I had fun making that one. And I got all kinds of stuff everywhere. So that just hides in there. Don't you love those kids? Look at that. You can tell they're having fun. So that goes in there. And then here this is. I do have a tutorial how I did this one. I think this is the one I made the tutorial with. But just a little pocket. Okay. This was not supposed to go there. But just uh, little tags that you could journal in. And then you got this one on the, on the back. If I can get it out. And then you got that lady there. So that just pops in there. It's like the little one that I showed you guys, except this is this is the mommy side. Let me. I want the. I want the specimen to show. And then on this side again, cute little girl there. And then you got another little um, tag here. And that just pops in there. Little. I think those are Tracy labels. But yeah, I love these. They're so cute. Now this one does, I don't like how it goes in there. So I am going to find a spot because I don't want to remove it. It was already in there. It belongs here already. So that one already has one. Oh, you know what? Let's just pop it right there. So this is it, guys. This is my doily slash little people slash invoice journal. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it. Um... Oh, wait, I'm not done. Son of a gun. Okay, so I showed you what was in this pocket, right? And I showed you... I didn't show you what was on this pocket. Okay, so this is the way... Make sure everything's in place. This one's fat. I think that if I was to take that out, see, it closes better. Okay, we'll put it aside for now. But this 
is also a pocket. I don't think I said that in the beginning. So again, I left it open so you could see the the um, quilt. And then I, I added this. This this idea came from Angie. A lot of people, well not a lot of people, but there's people that have gotten gifts from Angie. She doesn't have a YouTube or anything, Facebook, nothing. But she creates things and sends them to people and they share and she's awesome. Um, practice makes pretty. She's the one I first seen it from. They're friends and she's gotten so much beautiful, beautiful happy mail. But anyways, this little idea came from her. And I just got one of these uh, library cards and added the rose. These are the Tim Holt uh, roses or flowers. Just a little stab there, you can journal on the back. And then you just, this is an old book page, so as you can see, it's tearing, but it's an old page. But she did something like that, that was cute, so there I go. Nothing special on the page, just that it's old. But she kind of just folded it like that and added little things in there. And I thought that was so stinking adorable, so there I go. I don't know if she added a paper clip. I did because I wanted to keep everything together. <laughs> if I can take it out. There you go. So I just added a picture of that man because he looks handsome. You know? So I was like, all right, he should go there. You know, it's like a love letter. Memory of something, you know. A little dried flower here. You know, he might have given it to a woman. And so I popped it in there. And, uh, yeah, you could see it. And then... Um, I went ahead and added another, again, piece of a uh, ephemera. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm saying it's a receipt. So, pop that in there. A receipt maybe where they went out to dinner, you know. And then I added this. And it's a letter. So I want to say it's maybe a letter that he wrote to her. I don't know what it says. It looks like it's in French. But I love the writing. And then there's the back. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm like, okay, I have to add that. And the paper was kind of already, when I printed it, it had something similar like this. So I just went ahead and, or did I get it from another spot? I don't know. And then, uh, so yeah. I kind of used it as it's a letter that he gifted somebody. Where's my other piece? Oh no, it's right there. <laughs> so my little flower and the picture of the guy, you know, I just, that's what was in my mind at that time. And I just put that little paper clip to hold everything together. But just, you know, how it's all set up in here. I just thought it was so stinking cute. So I had to make one and this is the only one I've made, but you'll be seeing more of these in my journals because because it's cute <laughs> so let me see if I can get this in there without tearing that page more so that just tucks in there that's why it tore because of the little thread here that I put it's not thread but anyways so that just hides in there you know a little secret pocket that she has that love letter in there from from her man and then we're still not done. This this is a journal that has a lot going on. So then after we're done with that, we'll flip it backwards. And as you can see, there's another button on the back. <laughs> so like I said, I didn't want to cover my doily. So I went ahead again and made another pocket. And just, you know, you can tuck secret things in there. And you can see the beautiful um, quilt. And for that pocket, I made this just a simple little insert. Just um, add bits and pieces in there. The couple. See, that's the guy who sent the flower. Oh, no, that's the other guy. Okay, sorry. She was messing around. <laughs> and then on this side, it's just, you know, a little bit of everything. You just have these here. This is from Tsunami Rose. This is from a long time ago. And I bumped into them. I printed them out. These I can't remember, but that goes there. And then here you got these little bits and pieces that go there. And then on this side you got this little journaling card, of course, roses. Because it's my favorite flower. And then a little uh, 
bag. Now I haven't punched holes because I still haven't gotten my punch. I need to go to the 99 and get me one of those at least. And here's the back. Little label there. But yeah, and this one hides in the back. So it's nice and warm. Nothing happens to it. And then we just... That was a hair. Did I get it? Yes, I did. So yeah, I almost forgot that part, guys. See, I was going too fast. Um, so this is a journal that just keeps on giving. <laughs> Pockets, that is. Uh, come on, Patricia. Come on. There it goes. So yeah, there you have it, guys. This is my fatty waddy. And let's pop that one back in there. Yeah, it's going to be listed on Etsy. So if anybody's interested, you could head down there. Um, I'll upload this video and hopefully by then it should be uploaded. And for those of you, the person that owns it, you know, if you want to remove this one, it'll probably make it easier, but it still closes. See, it's because I got buttons and stuff everywhere. So all that takes bulk. Oh, and I think it's 14 pages folded in half. So that's 28 pages. Or... What is it, 36 front and back? Yeah, something like that. So that just tucks there. And this one folds in. And this one, I was thinking of not putting anything in here because of the fact that it moves, but I ended up switching it for that little baby one. And that worked better. And here, like I said, I just used some of this fabric. Not sure what it is, but there you have it so I hope you guys like my little fat journal I love it and um, yeah I can't wait to do another one okay I didn't do that too well guys and I'm making you guys suffer for watching me trying to tie this <laughs> but uh, See, I still, this was too short. You know what? It's fine. There you have it, guys. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. And um, and that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. I, I'm really proud of it. I really love the way it turned out. Let me know, guys. I've never done a journal like this before, and it was fun. Um, other than that, um, I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.